screens, my man. So this is the same game as I uh, watched last time with you and uh, KCB, right? Yeah, Riley's Lush and Oprah. Gotcha. Nice knife, man. Okay, I have a question. Did you see uh, my last review with Tysex? Tixis? Tixis? Tix? Did you see that review that analyzed when I was analyzing it, or did you just have it in the background, or you were just on the stream? Because. Okay, because he had the exact same position as you are, but he played it correctly. He had a better pre-aim, and he kept re-peaking and moving instead of standing still just holding this angle. So if you watched that, you would have known how to play this angle. At least played it better. Uh, rotation is good. You stayed back in case they went, uh, in case they went, had someone A. Um... And then you have, you have three, one guy on B, he will fall back. And then you have, you will have, effectively have three people mark it. So you go in short here, or, or you, yeah, you go in short here, that's good. I don't know if you realize, but that it's always good to attack a bomb site with different people. You're a little bit too aggressive here with not, not checking the angles and stuff. But it's a one versus four, you're just going to get over run over here yeah when okay you want to do as many things as possible as many actions a minute as possible so when you when you're already running past okay let's see here you're already running past this angle so instead of looking this way where there's nobody a hundred percent nobody because the ground is shuttered started you should just look here just to see you don't lose anything from just looking there why why not look? There might be someone there. Might be information to gather. And you rotate early. It's fine because he heard you. You should jump out and go to the site. You should jump out and help. Okay, so let's see here. This guy is fighting this angle and has this map control. And there's, if you know how to play B and know how B works, you know they will get this control and they will fight this guy. And you have a guy in short. So look at the, look where your teammates are at. I thought you did it last round, but I guess you didn't. Because right now you want to help your short guy looking into window and you want to help this guy looking up to a plateau. So the terrorists can go into mid side here and they th can go to car. So you want to make sure they can't do that. You fighting this angle right here is not helpful. And you're just standing out in the window where they can just spray the window. Oh, when did it cut out? I'm talking, by the way. Okay, well, you want to get out of here so you can help your teammates. I understand communication is a problem, but what you want to accomplish is... I muted it. That's why. <laughs> I was probably sneezing or something. Um, what you want to do is... Your teammate have this cover, right? And they can come a terrorist on left side and on right side. So you want to eliminate one of these. Same here. They can come a terrorist on left side and right side. So you want to eliminate one of these angles. And 
going in this position, you're eliminating both of the angles. This position, you're eliminating both of those angles. Here, you're you're watching that. If you move over, you're watching that. This shot is hard to hit because of the the window frame. So you want to push out. You want, you don't want to stand in. Imagine B tunnel on dust two, right? You don't want to stand back in B tunnel taking B. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but this is a bad position for you. You don't want to stand in, uh, in a choke point. You want to jump out because then you have all this, all of that instead of this little thing here, and this little thing here that you can be in. So you want to jump out. You can have a lot more m movement space, especially when you have teammates here. You should have jumped out even though you didn't have teammates there. But with teammates, you you should have especially jumped out and helped them. Because if this guy go, goes towards Ultra, Ultra will shoot at him and you will be able to shoot at him. Right? So it's a two versus one. Same here. If they push this guy, if they play it correctly, of course, you should play around around the pillar here. But you need to expect them to do... You want to expect them to get as many kills as possible and survive as long as possible. And because you're in a choke point, let me go back. I'll show you. Um, okay, this is the same angle as it died from last time. So I, I can't show you other than having my thing up. So they can be on this corner, this corner, this corner, here and here and up here when you're standing here. I can probably do it from here. You can be in all these angles right here. These are all places you can be shot from. And for the terrorist being in one of these positions, that's the only place they can sh be shot from. That's the only place you can shoot them from. So you will have all these people looking into your window and just shooting. And you have nowhere to go, nowhere to attack without standing in that window gem spot this is fine right now okay so you have you have a guy here and you will probably push this so when you push this you look there while you're running and when you jump down you look here when you cross this, you look up here, and when you feel like you have some control here, you, you look just just in just in case. There's no point watching here while your while your teammate is there, anyways. You're watching, jumping. You didn't check your right. You checked mid, but you didn't check your uh, underpass. You're not in a rush here. You're, you're too. You push too fast. Your teammate, oh, okay. your teammate has already got this position right here. He already pushed out, so you don't need to do that. You have a teammate CT to hold CT, so you don't need to get this control of the map. So all you gotta do is make sure this guy doesn't get pushed. Um, or that they can't take this map control here. So if you've or further down in the in the staircase he he hit a pretty nice shot on you though but um, if you were f lower down you he wouldn't have been able to to hit you that easily if, if the less part of your body were visible no I don't think you should have gone that far at all it would have been better if you jumped into window it was good. You should have played it more defensively. Or if you already had a teammate here. So you could have jumped on top into window. Go went jungle. That would probably be the best move to go there. Since you had a teammate here. You had a teammate here. No need to double up um, connector. But they were already starting to plant the bomb. So I guess I would have helped out your teammate. Uh, connector play is, is good. You don't really have the time to go jungle. You need to be effective because the time you spend going here is time 
your team is four versus two compared to the four versus three if you're helping out your teammate. Uh, so connector was the right call because um, you don't, wouldn't have time to go jungle. The time you would have been able to compete jungle, it would be a four versus one. So a little bit more defensive. Uh, let your teammate initiate and then you can help them. That flash is fine. I'm not so sure about this though. Because you will have no... This is fine if you already had some information that they were pushing. Or you already have a teammate watching this. But they will be... They can be anywhere on the site before you actually see them. Now this is better. Uh, a little bit too out in the open. Because they will jump above you and they rarely check it. That's why you like it. And the reason why they're rarely checking it. Just. Okay. So what your job is here. Is you need to be able to watch this. You don't need to hold it. You don't need to kill everyone that you see. You just need to be able to see that they're not crossing. They're not pushing B without you seeing it. Where are you doing that from on this site? That doesn't matter much. But sitting here, you have no they can be anywhere inside here at any point in time without you knowing. You can sit in this corner here. That's fine if you have another player holding it. Because what you need to do is you need to make buy time for your teammates to rotate from A if they're pushing B. And sitting in this corner is a one and done position one and it's, it's fine if you don't have if if the enemy has better economy and better weapons than you do I'm just standing here uh, keep moving keep being a hard target to hit because if anyone peeks this you, you're dead with the one shot just hitting a target standing still you're basically a bot at that point just standing still Not the perfect way of killing someone, but you got the kill, that's what's important. This is unlucky that it's coming short right after you've been there. But you, the thing is, you're taking too much risk. You saw the bomb, just don't cross as... Because the thing is, you killed the guy here, right? And you've just been in this area, so this is semi-clear. On the timing, he will be around, around that area when you kill this guy. But what you can do is... You need to stay in the area that's close because when you cross here there can be a T in window that side window that side under there can be one connector this side connector by chair in top mid in this top mid and this top mid compared to if you just fell back to this he can be in here and he can push you from here later that's a hell of a lot of less lines than and these positions that I'm, I'm, like, there's so many areas they could have shot you from pushing up this. Like, you don't, you, you shouldn't, like, look at all these lines below this. The two lines up here are the positions you could have been killed from going back to where you just were. Because he could have been here, and he could have been there, and he could have been there. But these five lines is a lot less than this Christmas tree down here, right? You just cross so many angles where there's a chance he's in. So you need to buy times to so your teammate is gets closer. So all you can do here is you run into this area here. And then you all you got to do is hold that or that, depending on what you want right because you just crossed so many angles the chance of him being in these angles is so much more than the chance of him being in here especially when two people just died yeah but you don't want to die doing it the thing is 
it will it could be a little bit overwhelming at first since you have so little experience but just think you want to be as safe as possible good pick good picks but now you have four people five people looking down connector i understand you got the kills but one guy peeking from palace and he killed two Think about your surroundings. Look how many people is looking into connector. This guy, this guy, this guy, and that guy. I understand that they were in connector, but you have rarely five people pushing connector. So if this guy peaked, you'd be dead. He'd be dead, you'd be dead. If this guy peaked, you'd be dead, you'd be dead. If there's a guy peeking here, he would be dead. Pushing here, he would have died though, but the point is that, exactly. It's not that it causes a lot of problems, it's just, it's consistency is key. You want to have as much control over the situation as possible. And five pep people looking into connector, you don't have much control other than connector control, right? You want to make the chances as big as possible for you to win the round. I don't know what you were doing. It was literally nothing. Um, you didn't have to, like... Do you have a teammate here? You know the enemy is in this area here. And you are in mid. So you didn't have you don't have to peek this. But if you just hold outside of these boxes. Right? At least you're doing something. Because you know he will he has to be in he has to be in this area because you're holding the rest of it. You know he can't cross this without you seeing. You know he can't go there without you seeing. You know we can't go there without you dying. So just something. And since you had a teammate here, you could always go back and hold that angle. At least you know he's on this side. Wait, you know he, you hold that angle and you have a teammate here. So you know he has to be in this area. Compared to you just standing here doing nothing, he can go wherever he wants. Uh, worst case you die, but at least you have some information compared to just looking into a wall Again, you have a teammate in connector You don't have to watch it Worst case your teammate dies, but if he dies, it's his pro it, it's his fault You you can't do everyone's job in this game because it's just too much What happens if there's someone peeking this right now? Or, or this because this dude is not holding anything this dude has this position right now they have to jump over and not check it for it to be viable so you knowing this you need to be scared of that and that this is held by a teammate so you, need, you don't need to be scared of that this is held by a teammate you don't need to be scared of that and this is held by a teammate because you have the god player on b right so you need to be scared of this, you need to be scared of this. Standing, looking into this box, jumping is just not doing your job. Again, watching connector. No need to watch connector. At least not for this long. You should watch uh, palace. Now you should watch ramp. And you QQ it. Yeah, exactly. You just... I want to be on top of this ticket booth. So I'm going to be on top of this ticket booth. Now this is better. But you're still visible from this angle. You're watching this, but you're visible from this. So you want to go close to the box, crouch, and hold that. Or you can go to triple and hold that. And then you can peek this once in a while. You don't want to hold this angle and then be visible. And he can just peek out and kill you from palace. 
And now you're out in the open. You have no cover. You're just standing there looking, not doing anything. That's dangerous. Again, you're in a choke point. If they have to aim at you, they have to aim here. There's so many, again, this Christmas tree. You're going to hate Christmas after this game. There's so many people. All they have to do is watch this corner. And you have to watch so, so many corners. I understand you have teammates, but you're doing this so long. Your surroundings. Think. Bounce a flashbang through here. You don't need to flash. You're four people here. Killing one. The chances of your flash flashing this guy and not flashing any of your teammates is so small. So your flashbang will most likely help him more than it will help you guys. And it helped him to kill that guy. Now he killed your friend because it was low and the guy's short is low. And you just stand waiting. And you got him. That's good. That's good that you got him. You were out of position, out of cover, but you still you still got him. It was way too close though. For being four versus one. And he just planted the bomb. Maybe smurfing. Maybe Yeah. Again, you're out and you have no cover here. You need to think about cover. And again, you're visible from ramp. I'm gonna die in a second now. It's just the T's being bad that you didn't die. This is better if you want to hold, uh, hold the palace. Cause now they can't see you from ramp, right? Don't double zoom, cause you if they're pushed under your scope, you're dead. Like, huh? That's that's pure luck right there. Oh! If you know he's low, you should use pistol. This is good. This is exactly what you should have done CT side. I know you're going to move, which is not good, but you're holding this ang this angle. Bomb is down. All you got to do is hold that angle. This guy, if he held that angle, would have been perfect. But you holding this angle, you have this map control. He can go CT, but after a certain amount of time, you know he's not CT. Um, you know he could have gone there. So you moving closer is not good. You going here is fine. Don't peek this. I don't know if you know he's low, but... You're doing too much strange stuff. Play the game, right? Make sure you're holding something. But yeah, your surroundings. Uh, your surroundings, surroundings, surroundings. You're just running around like a headless chicken. Shooting people. That's too soon. That mall is not doing anything. Nice shot though. That's a nice shot. That's a really nice shot actually. Again, if, if they peek you, it's just, if you want to hold this, go triple. Because in triple, you will be, they can't see you here. You can hold this safely. Because you're not dying, it's just luck. Most of the time. Again, you don't need to hold connector. You have two teammates there. They will die long before. No ticket is fine as long as you use it. Use it properly. Because. If you hold this. You need someone to hold this for you. If you're going to hold this. You need someone to hold this and this. Smoke here. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing. Smoke here, again, not the best, better than nothing. So if you want to hold connector, you need the connector guy to hold this for you. Or, or this, or preferably both. 
So if if you have a teammate pushed here and this is smoke and nobody's mid, you can watch connector. It's just so in the open. It's good. It's a good position, but it's it's only good for holding one angle if you hit your shots. If you miss your shots, you have nowhere to go. No need to take this fight that aggressively, but it's not that bad. Uh, molly is too early. The perfect thing is you molly that. And now you're going to see you die. Or not. I don't know what these terrorists are doing, but you're not punishing your mistakes. Again, when you have two CTs in a fully zoomed op, you know you're doing something wrong. This is where he pushes any plants B, isn't it? Again, this is too soon. See where the terrorists are at. You mulling this now, it, it's not useful. You need to wait until they're closer. Unless they're no clipping this, but then you, you, you can't take that into account. Now you're waiting a little bit. Now that is a lot better. It's still not good, but it's a lot better. Eh, you should do it by timing. But it's better than than what you did earlier. Again, you're visible from ramp. Just lucky they didn't push you from ramp. Grenade is fine. Because of the timing. You see what happens when you're you're not sure what you're doing and you're just jumping around like a chicken with its cut head cut off. You're not aiming where you should when they're peeking. You 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 shake your gun around and someone peeks and then you react. You should already have your gun peeking where they're going to where you already want your gun aimed at where they're peeking. So you need to use your utility, so you force them to peek where you're aiming. That's just unlucky-ish. Too aggressive. 3 versus 1. You don't need to get the kill there. Better than it was in the beginning. Punished. Hard. Punished hard and you panicked. Nice pick, though. Good, good job falling back. Free aim, you need to aim where you think they're at, are at, not just look for guns. Whatever, whatever you're doing, no need to peek this. You have 8 HP, you have no cover, and there's a 5 versus 2. If you die, it's a 5 versus 4, and the chance of you dying are pretty high. At least now you fell back, but still. It's unnecessary risk. Just let them hunt you. Necessary. You can you can peek underpass safely, um, like that. You can have the mid guy peek mid. If you have no control over mid, no control over. If you don't have control over two angles, don't peek it. Use utility or use your teammates to to um to help you. Don't do everything by yourself. Free aim. 
If you if you aimed at this corner here, it would have been a lot easier shot than just sitting down shooting. Why are you looking into window when it's mollied and your guy teammate died from connector? Just be more move around more. Yeah, you can always tell him to some you know, hole. Just press Z, I think it is, and something. You're, you're just hiding. Why are you hiding? You're terrorist. You're, you're, you're trying to take over an area and you're just sitting hiding. And you're looking for a gun. You die. Yeah, it's not about winning the rounds. It's about playing... Playing properly. Um, making sure you have the biggest chance of winning the round. But you, you, the problem is that when you, when you were hiding for so long and letting all your teammates die, you let CTs take over the control over the site. Just, you don't have time to just sit and wait. You need to save now. And you will get caught. Not without your gun out. That's smoke. At least they use some utility clearing the site, which is good. This is, this is good. Now you see the difference. You have one angle to aim at. And he has to go out there. But he has so many angles to look at. And you just missed your shots. Just don't sit still. No need to sit still. Be a hard target to hit. What are you waiting for? I don't I don't get what are you waiting for? Your whole team just sit and wait and wait. That's a good good pick on the guy. That flash is missing. You should have used the flash to Yeah, you were all waiting for push out, but what were you waiting for? You should have just pushed if you want to push. Don't just sit and wait for for waiting sake. You're just letting your the CTs flank you with no map control. No, you were not playing it aggressive. You were just sitting still in ramp, not doing anything. If you play for picks, you you go for map control and you expect you just sit and wait for the CTs to push. When the CTs has time to push all the way around and behind you in palace, you waited a little bit too long. Uh, hey, if you're gonna flash, thanks for the follow, man. Buddha, Buddha Fett. But if you, and if you're gonna flash out palace, flash out palace. Don't flash inside of palace somewhere and hope it hits someone. Um, if you're playing for picks, okay, let me see here. 
So when you have this map control and this, and the CTs has this map control, you need to push somewhere. Because they can push anywhere they want to go. Right? And they, they can do whatever they want. So if you don't have any map control, you need to get your move on and move. If you're playing for picks, you have one here, maybe one here, one here, one here, and maybe one pushing underpass. Then you're playing for picks. Because you're waiting in these off angles. Waiting for the CTs to peek you. Okay, let me remove this. So you're sitting by the... Waiting for them to push here. You're waiting for them to push past you here. They push past here. Push past you here. You sit in this cubby waiting for them to push you past. You're sitting here waiting for them to push past. And you can sit here waiting for them to peek. That's when you're playing for picks. Because you're waiting for them to do a mistake and push you. And you will you will stand in an off angle. Where they're not expect, expecting you to stand. And then you kill them. That's playing for picks. Get, get, uh, use the map control given for, to you. And what I mean about that is when you guys spawn here and the CTs spawn here. When these guys run and when they get here, they will meet the guys running here. This guy will meet the CT pushing this way, right? Um, mid guy will get the window and the T's get here. We can give this map control to the T's. Uh, underpass. The CT will get here when the T gets here. Um, CT will look here when the T gets here. Right? This is this is the map control that you have. And the CTs have the rest. Right? So playing for map control is you go to the positions where you're giving map control without peeking. So that means you sit here to peek into apps. Uh, actually, this is where they meet, but whatever. Uh, you're, you're sitting here in apps because that's giving it to you for free. You don't have to fight to get that control. You sit in here, peek, because you don't have to fight to get that control. You sit in here or sit in here. To hold this because you don't have to fight that either. It's given to you for free. Same with this, given to you for free. Same with this, given to you for free. You won't die getting this control, so you hold an off angle. So when the CTs go for more map control than they are given, you will punish that. Sitting here with no map control, you have to push the site because the second they get this far, they will just all go A. You'll have one guy waiting here or pushing. And just the rest of their team will just go A. And you will deal with four players inside of A site. And you will just get shredded when you push in. Eagle. Pushing first. You, you should go for the pick. You should peek out and go for the pick here. You're, you, you have no cover here. It would have been better if you went to the barrel. Then they, he will only see your head. But standing on top of there you with no armor you just get aim punched out of your brain. Again, you have no map control, so you have to push. You have the bomb alone in palace. If yeah, um, if you die here, you basically lose the map because you have the bomb and there's nobody there to help you. There, someone comes in palace, and you peek with no no flash, no utility, no smokes, no nothing. They just held the angle and pressed mouse one when you moved into their crosser.
That's a good pick. Oh, this is where you die from the opera, isn't it? I remember the skin. Use utility when you're gonna when they have ops and stuff. This is good. You're aiming for his chest, but if he pushes you now, you can tap him in the head if you aimed higher. You can. That's that just nothing you can do without armor and proper gun. Deagle doing the same thing. A little bit longer range. That's good with a deagle. As long as you hit your shots. Four versus five. There's no need for the enemy team to push you guys. You lose the bomb. Okay. You did the right thing. The only problem is that you stopped. They have the bomb down. Okay. You say your Deagle one taps are on point. Let me ask you this question. Are they... Let me see my channel I'm going to show you there's no spray pattern on uh, Deagle let me see here how on point are they are they oh shit this on point bad quality though just curious here Such bad quality, old video. I just to brag a little bit once in a while. It's not that often I get to do it, is it? <clears throat> just every day while I'm streaming. You should have just gone here because they have the bomb down. You know they're most likely rotating. Um, yeah, you watched that yesterday, huh? You know, they were at the bomb. You should just push A, just as I said the uh, last time. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I just need to show you one more. Since, since you like your Deagle one taps, gotta show another one tap video. Uh, this one. 